Uh, how's your son doing, and are you satisfied that the principal has now resigned? Um, my son is uh, very, very traumatized by this psychological lynching. I mean, he's confused. He doesn't understand. He does not express himself. He's he, 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 right now, he's at the point where he don't know, you know, how he should express himself in school now because right. he's, you know, uh, accused of that type of behavior. And he's nine years old. Has he had any behavioral problems before? No, oh, of course not. No, he, he's a very good student. He hasn't had any problems before in the past. How did you react to this when you heard about this? You must have been stunned. I mean, yeah, I was stunned. I mean, I was outraged. I mean, I was very disappointed. I was disappointed in the conversation that I had with the principal when he initially um contacting me, and this just has been overboard from the beginning. Here, here is your son, uh, I believe it's Imona, is that how you pronounce the name, Amanya, talking to local news about his ordeal. Watch this. I talked to my friend, I said, and I said Miss Terry was cute. Uh-huh. And that's it, that's all I said. I mispronounced that, it's Amanya. Dr. Romney, could a nine-year-old sexually harass? You know, I think a nine-year-old's concept of sexuality is going to be, it's, it's sort of developmentally restricted, and a lot of it is sort of, they're, they're often using it to get a rise, as much as they would use it. To, 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 to be naughty. To be naughty. Yeah, to be like using bad words exactly. or something. But they really have no yes, concept no. of sexuality. So Typically how not. can, unless they've been sexually abused or something, well, which this kid clearly has it, not. Right. Okay, and so right. how... how how could they be a sexual harasser? How is that possible? You know, I think if they keep using sexual terminology and sexual behavior as a way to intimidate a classmate, I suppose then you could you could put that under the rubric of sexual harassment. Okay. From what I'm hearing of this case, it definitely doesn't seem to fit under those under those those pieces of sort of how we think about sexual harassment. But really, developmentally. Kids are looking to get a rise, or maybe just don't understand the, the ramifications of their behavior. There were so many other ways the school could have intervened and talked to him yes. rather than to have zeroed him out and then made this into well, such and, a and cause. It makes it sort of a political, yes, legal it issue. Yes, it does. Here is yes. what the school has as their provision for sexual harassment. It's in their handbook. This is their definition. It reads that sexual harassment means and includes any unwelcome I want you to keep, keep uh, a careful eye on the fact here that they keep using the word sexual here, and kids don't know what that is, really. Right. Right. And, and those of you who want to argue that they do, it's, it, they don't have a mature sense of sexuality, right. a directed exactly. sense of sexuality, right. the way an adult does. So, unwelcome sexual advances, request for sexual favors, mm -hmm. and any other non-consensual and or offensive verbal or physical contact of a sexual nature, physical... This form of sexual harassment includes touching, fondling, and or grabbing. Verbal, this form of sexual harassment includes teasing, joking, and or making lewd remarks of a sexual nature. Steve Perry, how is it the school got this so wrong? Because what happens is very few administrators take the time to look at the context in which something occurs. It's not just that a behavior occurred. There are bad behaviors all the time. But what really happened? And given what happened, is that harassing? Is that sustained? Is that persistent? You're in the principal's office. That's where we are right now. And a lot of bad behaviors make their way into my office. My objective is to find out what actually happened. Contextually, is it something that we can correct within the school? Is this a teachable moment? Too many adults tend to act like children, and they become overwhelmed by simple circumstances. A child said somebody was cute, and that turns into sexual harassment? 